How can you teach yourself IT all on your own? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions, and in my previous video, I told you guys how I was self-taught and got into IT at an early age and basically been in it for a very long time, and you guys asked, how can I teach myself? How did I teach myself? So this video, I'll tell you kind of how I taught myself, and I'll give you guys the tips and tricks that you guys can use to teach yourself. So back in the early days of IT, I had extra computers laying around and I took those computers and I acquired some of the older operating systems, which at that time, you know, was Windows XP and Windows uh, 2000 and Server 2002 when that finally came out. And I learned those operating systems and I played around with them and broke things and installed things that I shouldn't have and really screwed things up really bad, but that's how I taught myself and I learned lessons from those things. And you know, aside from that, I kind of went out there and put myself out there and you know, try to fix people's computers and try to put myself in some different business environments. But you know, luckily I got involved in some business environments very early in my IT um, career and that really taught me a lot. It's not gonna happen for everybody, it can happen for you. That's why I always tell you guys to intern, intern, volunteer, volunteer. Those are the biggest things that you guys can do to really get yourselves in the door and learn a lot about IT and environments and things like that. So what I can tell you guys is stuff that I've taught you before. If you wanna teach yourself IT, the best thing that you can do, download VirtualBox. You can download VirtualBox and you can create virtual environments for pretty much any operating system that's out there. You can go to the Microsoft website, their TechNet, TechNet website, and download pretty much every operating system that they have that's current. So, you know, you can download um, Windows 8, 10, Server 2008, 12, and now 16, and you guys can install evaluation copies of those um, operating systems on VirtualBox and play around with those and learn how those operating systems work. And what's great about that is you guys can then go on YouTube, just like you are right now, and really dive deep into how to function these operating systems and how to really work these and install Active Directory and install Exchange and um, really get into like, you know, different group policy things and really dive into it. You know, that's, that's really teaching yourself, you know, that's, really getting hardcore mode into uh, teaching yourself some of the more advanced things of IT. And you know, there's obviously basics. I've done IT basics videos, you can find those. I'll put some of those in the description. I'll throw them over here somewhere or whatever. Uh, but I've done IT basics videos where I talk about, you know, learning the command prompt and learning Active Directory, just like I mentioned, and um, learning PowerShell and, you know, there's, you know, learning um, computer management. There's literally so many things that you can go out there on the internet and learn on your own, in your free time, and it's valuable. It's all valuable information. And it doesn't take a lot to do. It really doesn't. And, you know, the great thing about VirtualBox, if you break it, you can start over and you don't have to worry about screwing up a computer because it's all virtualized. It's all basically just a virtual machine created on your own computer that won't mess up your computer. So there's pretty much that aspect of it. And again, go out and volunteer and intern and get that experience because that's going to be important when you're really looking to get out there into the actual IT field. So the other things about, you know, self-teaching yourself IT, you know, you guys can go out there and get the books and things like that. I've talked about getting the A plus and the network plus and uh, different certifications. You guys can go out and get books or even go on YouTube and learn all of the things there. The A plus certification really will teach you so much about just all the general fundamentals of IT and just picking up a book about it really will get you self-taught in no time. And just pick up any spare computer that you have laying around, uh, go on Craigslist, buy a computer for 50 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever it is, even if it's old and ancient, and even if it doesn't work, and figure out why it doesn't work and start making it work. Start breaking it even if it does work and start learning all of the different components and, and why things break and, and all that stuff. And that's just a good general thing to do that it can really help you in, in self-teaching. If you guys aren't really looking to get into the whole IT, um, you know, 
analyst, help desk, uh, technician aspect of it, you know, the the virtual box and server stuff, that's that, that'll help you with, you know, going into server administration. There's tons of material out there on the internet that will um, virtualize um, network administration. So if you guys are really wanting to self-teach uh, some type of networking, there are tons of material out there that can really help you in learning Cisco and HP switches and things like that and uh, virtual labs out there that, that you can learn all that stuff. So there is tons of material out there that I didn't have back in the day. So really for you guys now in 2016, what you guys have at your fingertips to learn anything related to IT is literally like quadruple what I had back in like the early 2000s because I had none of it. You know, we had like books and stuff and we didn't have the power of like the search engines and YouTube I mean, like we do now. So you guys literally have everything at your fingertips to learn whatever you want and it's easy to access. So all it takes is you guys putting in a search and you can learn whatever you want. So if you guys wanna learn IT, if you wanna self-teach yourself, if you wanna be self-taught in IT, these are all pretty much the tips and tricks that I can give you guys to really go out there and self-teach yourselves because you guys ask so many different questions on like what college courses you guys should take or you know what jobs you guys should take and it's all such a wide variety. I don't know everything, but I can tell you that everything is at your fingertips. So I can help you guys the best that I possibly can and I will continue to do so and I will encourage you guys to do whatever makes you happy because I want you guys to succeed and I want you guys to be at the tops of your careers and even at the tops of your classes in college. So I will always continue to try to answer your questions the best that I possibly can, but as far as self-teaching goes, this is literally the best, the best of the best that I can give you. Um, everything's at your fingertips. It, all it really takes is you putting in exactly what you want to learn in the YouTube or Google, and I guarantee you, you guys will find whatever it is that you want to learn. So. I hope this kind of helps because, like I said, I didn't have all of this at my fingertips when I first got into IT. So um, I'll throw all the links and stuff in the description below of anything that I find relevant that you guys can use, like VirtualBox and all the TechNet um, evaluation copies of servers and Windows ISOs and things like that. And I'll throw in all the other IT basic videos and stuff that I've done. So I hope this kind of answers that question for you guys. If you guys have any more questions related to this, I'd be more than happy to try to answer that the best that I possibly can. As always, I greatly appreciate you guys watching and asking me questions because that's what this channel is all about. I hope I've been a great help to you guys and helped encourage you guys and help you keep motivated and learning and moving forward in IT because that's what I'm here to do. So as always, take it easy.